And the Chinese regime first accused the U.S. and then Italy for the origin of the CCP virus. But patient zero in multiple different countries were all found to have close ties to Wuhan. In today's Juliet Song reports. The Chinese regime has been busy pushing a disinformation campaign. Its goal? To shift blame for the origin of the virus away from China. Recently, some U.S. politicians have linked the novel coronavirus to China. This is smearing China. We are very angry and strongly opposed to it. The regime denies responsibility for the CCP virus. But records show that in at least 19 countries, the first people infected were from Wuhan, had been to Wuhan, or were in contact with others from Wuhan. Italy's virus death toll has now risen to over 17,000. It's the highest number outside China. The first two patients that tested positive in the country are a couple from Wuhan, China's virus epicenter. They left for Italy before Wuhan was put under lockdown. Meanwhile, the first patient in the U.S. was a man who traveled to Wuhan to visit relatives. He tested positive on January 20th. The U.S. now has the third highest death toll outside China, with over 12,000 reported deaths. The same day, South Korea reported its first case of the virus, a woman from Wuhan. The first three confirmed cases in France had all visited Wuhan before arriving in France. Germany's patient zero came in contact with an asymptomatic Chinese co-worker who had recently interacted with her parents from Wuhan. And on January 25th, Canada discovered its first virus patient, a man who traveled to Toronto from Wuhan. Likewise, Australian authorities also confirmed the country's first case on January 25th. The patient, a man that had been to Wuhan before arriving in Melbourne. Juliet Song, NTD News.